it's Thursday. What? <laughs> My name is Megan Ruth, I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Series 2, Episode 2 of The IT Crowd. I have reacted to the previous episodes already. If you want to watch those, I have a playlist devoted to it. I'll post a link to that down below. Now, the last episode I watched of this was absolutely hilarious. Apparently, it's the best episode, so um, yeah, it's just all downhill from here. I'm just going to be disappointed. That's what everyone's saying, essentially. Anyway, just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the unedited reaction, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Let's just get started, shall we? Today, I have a business empire the like of which the world has never seen the like of which. <laughs> I hope it doesn't sound arrogant when I say that I am the greatest man in the world. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but there are some policemen here. They say they need to speak to you about irregularities in the pension fund. Ooh. I see. Could you make me a cup of tea, please, Stephanie? Like everywhere. Oh my god, that's where that's from. Now I know. It's always great getting context to where, you know, gifs or gifts, however you say them, well, you know, where they come from. So now I know. Yes. What kind of phone have you got? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Voice recognition. So let's say I wanted to call my mom, all I'd have to do is say mom, and it calls her. I don't need to do anything. It's Hello. the dog's bollocks. Oh no. <laughs> mom, mom, no. No, I'm sorry. No, Ma said that. Yeah, okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Hey, what is that? I'll sort it out. Oh, could you? Just, you know, uh, welling up the vibrator on it a bit. Okay, all right. What well, was question 12? You brush your teeth in the bath. So? That's where your balls are. <laughs> this website takes all that information you just gave me, and guess what it does? It actually estimates the date of your death. What? I know. Unbelievable, isn't it? Whoa, 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 wait a second. No! I haven't done it. Why would I want to do it? I go March 2nd, 2079. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's right, baby. I've got 70 more years. OK, Moss, close that window. I mean, it would only be estimated based off of your lifestyle, right? Like... And that's even still a chance, because if you have amazing genetics, then, you know, it wouldn't be that accurate anyway. And then, of course, there's, you know, exterior factors, like you could get into a car accident, um, you know, you could die skiing. I, I don't know. You know you know what I mean. Accidental factors that aren't health-related. So, yeah, I mean, this one just, this this wouldn't, would this, would this weird me out? No, this wouldn't weird me out. No, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, it, it would be fine. It would be fine. <laughs> Hello, IT? Have you tried turning it off? You know what? I'm sick of saying that. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> you looked! <laughs> you know! You know when I'm going to die! I do, yes. <laughs> I told you not to look! I made a mistake. Oh, what does it say, Moss? Does, does it say I'm already dead? <laughs> oh, no, that'd be terrible. Oh, thank God. It's Thursday. What? <laughs> It's Thursday. Thursday! It's Thursday! Thursday's the Thursday! Although, not till late afternoon, so that gives you most of the day. 3 p.m! How can they be that specific? Yeah, it's silly. Yeah. These things are at best 79% accurate. <laughs> oh, good! Apparently, there's something wrong with all the computers on Southern. Who wants it? Roy? Ooh, you look terrible. Are you ill? I don't know. <laughs> Why, we put up antiviral software and firewalls. It's because there are a lot of dangerous things out there. Jesus! <laughs> well, you know, like, calm down. Just don't disable the firewalls. <laughs> OK, 73. That's good. That's good. 32! <laughs> oh! It was a car accident! Brilliant! OK. No, I completely forgot. OK. Oh, man, I have to go. Unbelievable. Some brainiac disabled his firewall. Denim's dead. Oh, yes, and Denim's dead. <laughs> OK, everyone ready? Wow, you look great. You know, funerals. They're so morbid. Oh, will you please forget this website nonsense? You are not going to die. Come on, cheer up. You're going to ruin the funeral. <laughs> No, you're right. I, I, pay no attention to me. I'm, I'm being an idiot. 
Dead man walking. <laughs> I didn't know you smoked. Oh, yeah. I was on 40 a day by the end. 40 a day? That's 146,002 a decade, presuming there's two leap years. How the flip did you give up? Basically, pure self-control, Moss. No, no, I'd never smoke again. I'd rather lick a tramp. Derek, hello. Thank you for printing up those funeral announcements. Oh, no, no, I enjoyed doing it. In a sad way. Can I have a word, please? Sure. Oh, hey. Oh, my phone. Oh, cool. Have you, um, souped it up? Yeah, I've totally pimped your phone, girlfriend. <laughs> That is the lowest setting. I see no need for an IT department, and I would much rather use this basement for something important, like a big toilet. <laughs> Ooh, I have to say, that actually is a bit of a surprise. Really? I did send out a memo. I didn't get it. I, I should give us this chance, and then another chance. <laughs> Did someone else die? <laughs> I mean, Mr. Renum! You have to be careful, he's our new boss. Oh, he hates us. He keeps saying that there doesn't even need to be an IT department. Why did no one tell me this? There was a memo. It just said, I hate the IT department. <laughs> You are not coming to the funeral, Richmond. What funeral? <laughs> oh. Has anyone got the right time? It's 20 to 3. I'll make it a quarter to. Why? Oh, yes, because that website said you were going to die at 3, didn't it? <laughs> Did it? I, I can't remember. <laughs> say to people at funerals. No, neither do I. I'm terrible. Oh, just say, I'm sorry for your loss, then move on. <sighs> sorry for your loss. Thank you. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for your loss. Thank you. It's not like you've lost a pen, is it? <laughs> it's so much worse. Oh, cool. Do you like a pen? <laughs> I have a spare one. Oh, um, no, thank you. Please take it. Why are you giving it to me? I don't know. <laughs> Death is coming. <laughs> Death is here. <gasps> Death is outside. There's no escape. I don't like the way Derek's looking at us. Death will catch us. <laughs> Hi. I know. Some of you I hope to get to know better over the coming months. Some of you I probably won't be seeing very much of after today. <laughs> the reading of the eulogy is a duty normally left to the eldest child. But as you all know, Denham's son Douglas mysteriously disappeared after a lengthy court case. Let me start by reading this poem that I saw in the film Four Weddings and a Funeral. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop. All the clocks. Oh! Father! <laughs> He's in what we do in the shadows. Oh my god. 
I can't remember his real like his actor name. I can't remember his name, but he's in yeah. What we do in the shadows? Great show on FX. Um, I don't know. Um, can't remember how I watch it over in the UK. I think it. I think I do it illegally. Don't tell anybody. Um, but uh, yeah, no, great show. What we do in the shadows is. Mwah, mm. Where is your guard? Where is your guard now? Here lies a great man. A great man! Father! <laughs> well, who's this? Hi, I'm Douglas. Jen Barber? That's a beautiful second name. What are you doing after the funeral, Jen? Douglas, speak, priest! I know, I'm a bit... If you're watching this, it's because my son from my first marriage has arrived, caused a scene, and is currently chatting up some nearby trouble. Hey! Quiet, woman! <laughs> Douglas, I have something important to tell you. I'm here, Papa! Renham Industries is now yours. <gasps> my lord, thank you, Father. But I want you to promise me now, in front of all your new employees, that you will never again become embroiled in a sexual harassment case that damages the company. I promise, Father. <laughs> There's one more thing, Douglas. Okay, Douglas, now we're alone, I can speak frankly. You may well receive a visit from the police at some point concerning irregularities in the pension fund. Turn that off. I've been using a very creative accountant. Recently. Goodbye, Father. <laughs> right, I'm off. I'll see you all on Monday. Uh, Douglas, Douglas, sorry, didn't mean to. Uh, Derek Pippin, I worked very closely with your father. Oh, Derek, good to meet you. I'm afraid I'll be bringing in my own people, so you're immediately fired. Okay, good luck, everyone, and uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told my father was particularly proud of the IT department, run by a dynamic go-getter, a genius and a man from Ireland. <laughs> yes, one last thing. How do I erase files like this one here? Marked pensions. Where's that hootsie tootsie hum dinging coochie mama boss of yours? Um, she went home early. She said she had some catching up to do. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have predicted this when she had that whole thing about, when she said, you know, about quitting and she wouldn't touch cigarettes again. I should have predicted this. Oh my god, so predictable. <laughs> I sorted out this for you. Now, I'm afraid the vibrate setting is still a little weedy, so you may want to put her all the way up to ten. <laughs> ten? Shall do. Done. And done. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Nearly at the station. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that from now on. Nearly at the station! It could mean so many things, you know. It could be used in so many areas of life. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I need to... Oh god. Um, <laughs> anyway, on that note, before I go, I just want to quickly shout out my patrons. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. My Patreon is my members-only site where you get benefits such as early access to my videos and my complete unedited, uncensored reaction videos. And patron shoutouts if you're a top-tier patron. So thank you to Brian, Reese, Kane, Emil, Julian, Patrick, Sean, Hikers1980, RG, Rob, William, Ian, Kyle, Danny, Bud, Raul, Christina, James, Andrew, Robin, Havaby, Carl, Chris, David, Christopher, Gary, Snap, Casa, Adam, and Hogweed. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!